Nevada, Cody Miller. Just finished the tuna breaststroke. It hurt, but it didn't hurt enough. I haven't swam it in so long, I kind of forgot how. I feel like I was too soft at the beginning of the race and I didn't come back fast enough. I definitely went faster than this morning, which is a win, but I'm still like relearning how to swim a long course tuna breaststroke. Will won. He went out way fast and I couldn't, I couldn't catch up. I just couldn't catch up. Good job, dude. I can't stand. <laughs> she, uh, she negative split her 800 tonight. Yeah, I did. It's like a champion. Where'd you go? Uh, 829. She's so fast. Thank you. I couldn't come within 30 seconds of that. Uh, yes, you could. <laughs> no. It's time to go warm down. I'm done with me now, but Blake still has a 50 freestyle. So he, uh, he's gonna properly warm up this time. Are you gonna warm up properly? He's gonna do the old shower warm up. Who says that's not proper? Hey, I'm just saying, I didn't say it wasn't proper, I'm just saying it's, it's what you do, you know? Some people thoroughly warm up in a pool like their coaches tell them, and some like people just sit in the, the shower. To be fair, he sat in the shower and still made the A final, so. All right, let's go. Blake, good luck. I'll Thanks. see you after your race. Thanks. Something to warm down. You know, I wish I would've just gone out a little bit faster, because I took myself out of the race by being too soft. Just the way it goes. Hey, good job. Thanks, buddy. Hey, Kelsey. She's super fast. Whew. It's just a little bit too stuffy in here for my liking. Hey, Cody. Yeah. Hey, Cody yeah, yeah. Oh. What are you swimming tonight? 53. 53. Good luck. Thank you. I'm going to warm down. Good luck in your race tonight. I'm gonna cut it short because I want to watch Blake's race. We gotta go. <laughs> oh my god, this is my first time going vlog. Actually, you were in the vlog like really briefly really? in uh, in Santa Clara vlog. Good job. Good job. <laughs> I'm I'm thoroughly excited for this 50 free. Like I'm gonna vlog it and probably scream like a little girl. It's gonna right. be good. I expect best times. Nothing but best times. Okay. If Annie can go, if Annie over there can go a lifetime best time, you can do. <laughs> Annie won a best time tonight. But it will be Annie Laser 222.99. A huge improvement for Annie Laser. And the fastest time in the world so far in 2019. Oh, hey, Margo. Good luck. Where is she? There she is. Good luck, Margo. We love you. We believe in you. Margo's got the 50 free before Blake. She's gonna warm up the pool for him. It's gonna be great. See kids, see how Margo is putting on socks and wears a sweatshirt. It's because she is smart and is always warm before her race. It's key. You wanna be really hot. You wanna be sweating before your race. That's actually, that's actually true. Like you want your core temperature to go up before you race. Margo's about to swim at 50 freestyle. We're so excited. Let's go. The atmosphere in here right now is insane. So excited. I love when it gets super quiet right before the start. Let's go, right now. Margo got second by three one hundredths of a second. Really close race. That's how the 50 goes. Final of the men's 50 freestyle. Blake P, Caleb Dressel, Michael Andrew. Ah, oh, it's gonna be great. And world champion and Olympic gold medalist from Indiana Swim Club. <laughs> Caleb Dressel. Really close, Caleb Michael, Caleb Michael. Oh, Michael got him. Only got third. Woo! Only got third. Only got third. Yeah. Blake 22. Yeah. Good job, I'm proud of you. Love you guys. <laughs> Love everyone watching us. Thanks. Hope I look good for you guys. Uh, see ya. <laughs>
It's impossible not to love Caleb. You ever been I've in the never vlog? been in the vlog. Dude, all right, we need to do a podcast together. Yes. Like, this I'd guy, to. Tom, knows Bloomington, swimming. If I'm there. Yes. Because that, that would be in studio or in, yeah, in house. Yeah, yeah, yeah that'd be great. Tom knows more about swimming than, like, pretty much anybody I know, so I feel like we would. Tier mates, too, baby. Yeah. All right, good. good yeah, job. yeah. Blake's got to do this Deck Pass live show. And we've got a long line to get for autographs. The kids that show up for this, I'm here for you. So I'll do these autographs. <laughs> Thank you guys. Bye. Bye. That only took like 30 minutes. That was good. That was really good. I remember signing the toilet. I've had people ask me if they could smell my arm. <laughs> I'm like, my, my arm <laughs> smells normal. Like, there's nothing weird about You've had my people arms. ask if they could smell your arm? <laughs> it was a fun week. It was, it was, it was a, a good, good work week. weekend. It was a good, good work weekend. And that's a wrap on the meet. I've been trying to find Blake for like 30 minutes now. Just did 30 minutes of autographs. It was wonderful. Thank you, everyone, for coming out. I had a great time. Um, I love meeting people, but the pool, as you can see, is empty. And Blake is nowhere to be found because he's an elusive fox. I think Blake is doing the Deck Pass live show right now which is like the USA Swimming pre slash post show that they do for these meets. I'm on a mission, I'm gonna find him. We gotta go to dinner. I found him, I found Blake. Look, look. Your pro team has kind of grown at Indiana University. You, you've got like, not just you, Cody Miller, Margot Gear, Lily Kane's gonna be joining you guys. Just a couple the pro yeah. just a few. <laughs> it's really grown off its own success. I think people realize how, how well the pro group is swimming and people wanna be a part of it. It's been, it's, it's great. It's a great environment to train in. I think it's Olivia there in the other lane. Real talk, I'm just a huge distraction. I'm gonna get out of the way, not bother them right now. This is 100% the best YMCA pool I've ever been to. I had a great time racing here. My first time racing long course in eight months since nationals, post-injury, and it was a lot of fun. I think I'll probably go into more detail about how I felt about my swims on the Cody Miller show, um, but real briefly right now, I swam 100 on day one, the 50 on day two, and the 200 today on day three, and all in all, for my first race back in eight months, it was pretty solid. I had some pretty good times. Um, you know, I'm not tapered, I'm not shaved. I clipped my chest though, so I don't have like, a lot of chest hair right now, and I did shave my beard. Um, but for me to go 002 in the 100 breaststroke, which is three tenths off my fastest in season time, um, was pretty good. Obviously, I would have liked to win, um, but that's okay. Uh, 50 breaststroke, you know, I won my heat, um, not as fast as I wanted to be, but I think that. I think that I didn't have that poppy, fast twitch going out speed right now just because of where I'm at from a training standpoint, and that's okay. You know, like, I literally went one-tenth faster in my 50 breaststroke race than I did the first 50 of my 100, which, you know, doesn't make a lot of sense. Like, I should be able to go out faster, but I think that's just kind of where I'm at. Um, the 200 tonight was a good swim. I think I split the race pretty well. Um, but I got out of the pool and I felt like I had, like I wasn't dead. You know, like you finish a long course 200 and you should be like huffing and puffing and puffing. You should feel like you're dying. And I never felt that. I didn't feel that way. Like I felt like there was more left. I felt like I could have kept, like I almost felt like I could have gone another one. Um, I was definitely too, I wasn't aggressive enough the first 100 of the race. You know, I let those, I let Will next to me get out a little too far in front. Um, and I, I kind of chalk that up to it's just, I have to kind of relearn how to swim that race, how to be aggressive about it. Um, you know, but for me to go 211, once again, like my fastest unshaved in season 200 breaststroke time, I think is a 211.2 2 or a 211 3. And I went 211.9 tonight or 211, maybe 211.7, something like that. Um, you know, I didn't love getting fifth. Obviously, I want to win, but, you know, looking at how, where I've come, like how far I've, I've come. Um, I, I feel, I do feel pretty good about it. Like I feel pretty optimistic. It's crazy to think that there was a time just a few months ago where I was having thoughts and doubts about whether or not I was ever really gonna be able to race again because of how much pain I had in my knee. And that was a really scary, dark place for me to be in. I was nervous. It's something that I'd never gone through before. It was definitely one of the hardest things I've ever had to overcome. I'm still like climbing that mountain. Like I'm still kind of overcoming it, but for me to come to this meet and be really competitive and to race well again, um, number one, gives me a lot of confidence. And number two, just, it makes me realize like how much I love racing and just being competitive. You know, uh, I, I, love, I love the sport so much. And for me to kind of just be myself again, 
felt really good. I have the best dinner dates I could possibly have. <laughs> We have a 5 a.m. flight tomorrow morning. Is it 5 a.m.? We have a 5 a.m. flight tomorrow morning, and it's, and it's daylight savings. And it's daylight savings time, so it's technically a 4 a.m. flight tomorrow morning, and it is 10 p.m. and we just ordered dinner, so we might as well just not even go to bed. Sure. It's gonna be a late, late night and an early, early morning. I'm so happy right now, because Margo showed up. It's uh, 3.30-ish in the morning. We just made it to the airport. We're uh, about to start our long trek back to Indiana. It's gonna be brutal. 